Oh, hey, look, it's another Seven villain near the bottom of the list. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose despite Seven. I really do like Seven, okay? There's a big difference between Professor Hojo and the other Seven villains I've covered, the Turks and Rufus. The thing about Hojo is that he has absolutely no charisma, no style, nothing redeeming about his personality whatsoever. He is one of the most vile, disgusting, downright evil human beings to ever grace this series. Professor Hojo is the lead scientist of the Shinra Corporation, and let me tell you, this guy loves his job. But he also believed ethics have no place in science. This went so far as to inject alien cells into his pregnant wife's unborn son for the intent of creating a super soldier. The end result of which, you'll see later on. Despite the fact that he actually resigns from his position early on in the game, he shows up here and there throughout Seven and plays a key part in Shinra's activities. I wish I could go into more detail about his backstory, but there isn't really much to be found. He doesn't have any real excuse for any of the horrible, amoral things that he does. Why did he inject his pregnant wife with alien bits? Why did he attempt to breed a human being with a talking dog thing? Why did he turn humans into monstrous abominations? Science, of course! Overall, he's just a callous, disgusting human being. He constantly refers to Aerith and her mother as if they're animals, since they're technically not human. He seems to have a perverted streak if his beach groupies are any indication. And when the game's main character, Cloud, starts to believe he's a clone, Hojo knows full well it isn't true since he was the one who did those experiments, but plays along anyway just to spite him. The closest thing he has to a moment of compassion in the entire game is when he decides to devote his resources to helping his son destroy the planet. That's still pretty twisted, but... At least he's supportive of his son's hobby. I don't really have much to say about Hojo since, compared to some of the other villains on this list, he is one of the least complex, but he is nonetheless incredibly memorable just because of his shocking lack of morality and his role in the backstory. He really does make his mark.